Our learning objective today is to enter and format data in Google Sheets. And we're going to be using that online program, it's an online spreadsheet program today. A little bit of background vocabulary. What is data? Data is information. What are types of data? Types of data are text, such as letters or words, numbers, and formulas. That will come later. What is a cell? A cell is the smallest unit of a spreadsheet. So you can't get any smaller than one single cell. And last, what is a cell name? Every cell has a name, and I don't mean Bobby or Susie. It's where the column letters and the row numbers intersect or cross. So say column A intersects with row 5, the cell name would be A5, and you'll see that today. Now, you're probably wondering when I'm there, how do I move around? There's several ways you can choose. You can use arrow keys, you can use the tab key, you can use the enter key, or you can use your mouse to click or use a scroll wheel on your mouse to move around in a spreadsheet. Now format. What is format? Format is the way data appears or looks. So in addition to entering data into the spreadsheet, we are going to change the format of the data, which is the way that it appears or looks. Some examples of types of format, you can change the font, you can change the font size, you can bold, italicize, underline, change the color, alignment. There's many other ways you can change the format, but those are just a few examples. And we're going to be using either the formatting toolbar you see here below, or you'll, the formatting menu. Those are the two ways we can change the format. Okay, we're ready to get started on our first assignment. So this is my drive home, drive.google.com. If you need to, you need to either log in or get to this screen right here. We're going to go to new and we're going to go to Google Sheets. And that's going to create a new spreadsheet for us. And the first thing I want you to do is I want you to name that spreadsheet and I want you to share that spreadsheet. So you're going to click up here where it says untitled spreadsheet. I want to name, put your period number your last name, comma, your first name, and I want you to name this practice. Everything we do in this unit is going to be on this one file. Okay, so you want to make sure you name it correctly. I'm going to click OK, and then the next button I'm going to look for is the blue share button. Now I know I threw a bunch of information at you, but you should know how to share. That's something we've done several times, and you're sharing with me. Uh, if you type K S H E, my name should pop up and you just send it to me. Okay, so you're shared with me now. So you created a new spreadsheet and you shared it with me. So let's look at the format of the spreadsheet. It's tr currently blank right now. We haven't entered any data. We're going to do that first and then we're going to change the way that the data looks. Now you see along the top there's the columns. Those are those letters I was talking about and then the rows go along the left. So I'm going to have you enter some data regarding your class schedule. And what I'm going to do to save some time is I'm going to do a paste from another document so that you can see what I want you to enter. So in cell A1, you're going to enter your name. In A2, you're going to enter the word class schedule. A3, the word period and then you're going to go down numbers 1 through 8 for your classes. So cells A4 through A11 and then A12 is AR and it looks funny because it's text so it's, it's formatted to the left alignment where the numbers are right aligned. We'll fix that later. Cell B3 you're going to type in the word teacher and then you're going to fill in your teachers for the corresponding classes. And then last you have cell C3 is the class, that's the name of the class, and you're going to fill that in for the corresponding classes. So if you need to pause this, uh, fill in your own spreadsheet, and then we're going to pick up where we left off to format it. 
make sure when you're entering the data in these cells you don't skip cells because we are going to be merging some cells so we want to make sure that every cell is filled in okay so we're going to start with the formatting and the first thing we're going to focus on is merging cells so i'm going to select a1 b1 and c1 and i'm going to look for the merge button that's this one that has the little arrows pointing towards each other and i'm going to click that one time and that's going to merge that into one cell the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to center align my name my pretend name into that merge cell I'm going to do the same thing for class schedule. So I'm going to click on cell A1 where it says class schedule and I'm going to select across through C, I'm sorry, A2, B2, C2, hit that merge button and then align center. Okay, other things that will benefit from aligning center is the column A period down through AR. Kind of looks a little off with some on the left and some on the right. So we're going to center align all of those. It's looking better already. Now generally with a table like this, you would want to make the title of the table stand out. So I'm going to change the font. And there's only so many fonts to choose from unless you have the new and improved updated version. So I'm going to change to Verdana just to be different. I'm going to change the size a little bit. And I'm going to change this one to different. Let's see. Let's do I'll do trebuchet and make it a little bit bigger. 14. And then another way you can change the format is you can bold. So I'm going to select the headings in A3, B3, and C3 and I'm going to click the B button. That's to bold. Okay. And then also, to make the period number stand out, I'm going to italicize. That gives them a little lean to the side. Okay, to continue formatting, we can put borders and fill colors, and you can even change the font color as well. So I'm going to work with the borders first. I'm going to select the cells. I'm going to go to the borders button, and I'm going to click all borders, because I want all borders around the cells I just collect, selected. Looks pretty nice. I think I'm going to kick it up a notch even further. And each one of these I'm going to fill. You see that paint can? You should be familiar with that. I'm going to fill a different color. Now if you want to get really high tech and you want to, you know, color every single cell in something different, that's fine. But I'm just doing this really quickly for the demo. Let's do green. So I have my name, class schedule, have my class schedule filled out and I have it uh, formatted with borders, fill color, I changed the font, I bolded, and I centered. One last thing I'm going to do to this sheet is I'm going to name this sheet. I'm going to name it Class Schedule. All I did was I double clicked on that sheet tab and it automatically created a little box that I could type in. Okay, I'm going to press Enter to select that. So this one's done. If you need to pause or go back, make sure that you do so. And what I'm going to do is stop here and we're going to put a new video for the next task.